Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, in this series, we are going to solve one very interesting rational equation. Equation is 1 over x power 4 plus 1 over x square equal to 2 over x cube plus 1 over 5. So let's get started by writing domain of this equation first. x can be any real value, but x cannot be equal to 0. As we can see, there are x in the denominator in product form. So we will write x cannot be 0. Now let's rationalize or you can take LCM also. I will solve 1 over x power 4 as it is. Then I will multiply numerator and denominator of the second term only. So I can write here x square times x square. Similarly, right hand side I will consider 2 times 5 over it is multiplication sign 5 over 5x cube plus x cube here i am multiplying with x cube in the numerator denominator only to make the denominator common now you can see 1 over x power 4 plus x square over x power 4 denominator is same equal to 10 over 5x cube plus x cube over 5x cube. Now let's take LCM both sides. So I can write here 1 plus x square divided by x power 4 equal to 10 plus x cube divided by 5x cube. Now I will cancel whatever I can. So denominator I can cancel easily x cube and I will write here x. Rest we will take as it is. So let me cross multiply this diagonal first. So I will write x times x cube plus 10. Now left diagonal I will consider equal to 5 times x square plus 1. Let's expand x times x cube, x power 4, x times 10, 10x, 5 times x square, 5x square, and 5 times 1, 5. Now, if I will take away minus 10x from both sides, so equation will look like x power 4 equal to 5x square minus 10x plus 5. Now I can see, I can take something common from right hand side. So if I will take 5 common from RHS, then what will be left? x square minus 2x plus 1. Okay, x power 4 equal to 5 times x square minus 2x plus 1. And what is this? This one is x minus 1 whole square. So our equation will convert it into x power 4 equal to 5 times x minus 1 whole square. This is very unique and very good for us equation. Let me write here x power 4 equal to 5 times x minus 1 whole square. Why I said very good for us? Because we can take a square root. And task will be very, very easy, comparatively easy if it is not so. So what I will consider is square root both sides. So I will write x is square after taking the square root. I will write plus minus sign. Then I will write square root 5. And then this will be free from a square. Now task is looking very, very simple. And it is very simple. Only difference is irrational factor square root 5. So let us consider two equations. First equation would be x square is equal to plus square root 5 x minus 1 and second equation is x square is equal to minus square root 5 x minus 1. So let us solve both the equations also. x square let me take root 5x to the left 
all the terms we will have to consider to the left root 5 x plus root 5 equal to 0. This is our first quadratic equation and now from here we will get the second one. The square root 5 times x minus square root 5 equal to 0. Two equations we will solve using quadratic formula. So let us apply quickly x equal to minus b. So square root 5 plus minus square root b squared. So minus square root 5 whole square. So that would be only 5. Minus 4ac. So minus 4 root 5 divided by 2a. Is this value real? Is it no or yes? It is not real, it is complex. How I will show you write this 5 as see 4 root 5, 4 times 2.23. So it is obviously greater than 5. So negative value coming inside the square root. So that negative you will take out as i square. So it will come out as i. So we can write this same equation as plus minus i times square root 4 root 5 minus 5 divided by 2. This is our x. Okay. Now come to the second quadratic equation. Similar way, I will write minus b. So minus square root 5 plus minus square root b square. So square root 5 whole square. So 5 minus 4ac. So it will give us plus 4 root 5. And denominator is by 2. So let me write here itself by 2. Now here we are having both numbers positive. So from this x we will get two real solutions. So I can write x is equal to minus square root 5 plus minus square root 5 plus minus 4 root 5. Now I don't want to write our denominator 2. So what I will do here? I will consider 4 here. I will consider 4 here. So that will be 4 and I will remove this 4. Is that okay? Denominator we can put into the numerator means we can cancel. Once you are having, see that 4 will be cancelled out. See it is like that. You can see easily. Okay. So our final solution for this equation or you can say quartic equation that would be x is equal to square root 5 over 4 in terms of that I am writing the complete answer plus minus i times square root square root 5 minus 5 over 4. Two complex solutions. Okay. Now come to the real part. I will write minus square root 5 over 4 plus minus I will write 5 over 4 minus plus square root 5. Minus is not here. Otherwise there will be 4 extra roots. So only plus sign. So there are two real roots. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care. Bye bye.